Hi, this is Brian. Welcome to AmericanGoldMiner.com. And this is the Nefco Centrifuge Bowl. Today we're going to run a test to demonstrate how effective this centrifuge is with magnetic and non-magnetic irons. Here's a lower view of the Nefco Bowl. It doesn't use pulleys, it uses a full-size gearbox, so you don't have to worry about belts slipping and feed rates changing and causing any kind of problems that way. You're much more consistent and able to be more accurate in your testing. This is the test sample that we're running today. We're using 30 grams of gold ranging from 12 minus to 100 minus. You can see the fines that are floating. We're going to just blend that in. And we'll mix that up thoroughly. The test material is all mixed together well. The gold's all through it. We're ready to start the run. First thing we do is we turn the bowl on. And we set up for the water. Start the water. For the clean out of the bowl, the first step is to remove the intake pipe. This requires two wing nuts removed, a quick rinse, the material sitting on the cowling. And the next thing I'll do is install the outlet pipe to the bottom of the bowl. Once the outlet pipe is installed, we remove the plug that's in the bottom of the bowl and start our wash. Now we'll take a closer look at what's going on inside the bowl. Here's just a quick look in the bowl before we've even started washing. You can see the larger amount of gold just laying in this first ring right along both edges. And uh, well now we'll start rinsing this out here so you can get a better look at what's being held in the rings. The first five riffles or so are where the majority of gold ends up sitting. So we'll wash it out now. What you're going to notice is a higher concentration of black sands trapped in the, the rings, the lower rings. The blondes are just on the surface. The Nefco bowl has two distinct features that make it so effective in recovering fine gold. The first is that the rings are formed in a spiral, in a continuous run. They're not individual ringlets starting and stopping on themselves. And what this does, because it's running in a counterclockwise rotation while the water and bowl are spinning in a clockwise, it keeps it in a slurry state. 
and it allows this black sands to wash out but the gold to remain trapped against the wall. Instead of an individual ring that will pack up, the sparrow allows the bowl to be run continuous all day long and at the end of the day you have one gallon of concentrate to clean up regardless if you've run five tons of material. The other feature is that under the bottom of each one of these riffles you can't see it but there's a little cut around this edge, bottom edge, that prevents the fine gold from traveling and migrating up to the next riffle and the next riffle which is common for centrifugal force to occur. So the material comes in and once it's in that ring it stays in that ring and it doesn't move up and out. The bowl's all washed out and it's all gone down through the inch and a half drain to the screens. This is a screen of the 12 to 20 mesh size and beneath that size we're talking about just a pan of uh, black sands. We'll take it and run this on the Gold Hog Multi Sluice in combination with the Gold Cube and there isn't any need because of the small amount of magnetics to do any magnetic separation so we'll run this directly onto the sluice into the cube. So let's go do that. I have found the Gold Hog Multi Sluice in combination with the Gold Cube to be a very effective, fast, and low cost system in recovering fine gold down to 200 mesh. So what we're going to do now is run the concentrate formed by the Nefco Bowl. It's just about a half a gallon of material and should take 5-10 minutes to complete. You can use each one independently. I find that my golds always vary and using both just helps guarantee that I'm going to get all my gold out of the concentrate. Here's the cleanup from the Gold Hog Sluice and the Gold Cube. The Nefco Bowl recovered 97% of the test sample that we ran through the sands. This is what you would expect in 1 ton, 5 or 20 tons of cleanup. Always less than a gallon of material easily ran across the sluice and the cube and there's your results. Well there you have it. The Nefco Bowl recovered 97% of our gold test. We found the bowl will process tons per day with no shutdowns every half hour to stop gold losses caused by clogged riffles. And it is an excellent fine gold recovery system even with feed that is 100% magnetite. For more information on the bowl, contact us at AmericanGoldMiner.com. Thanks for watching.